Hey coach, I'm so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, first of all, go subscribe and like. That means so much to us and we're trying to get to 100,000. That's kind of our goal. Second thing is um, make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to win more games, have more fun in less time, hundreds of videos, less than less than a dollar a day it's unbelievable you get my personal email address you get everything you too can become a better basketball coach let me help you put some championship uh banners in your gym so let me help you do that go over and check it out let's head off to the video yeah all right welcome 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 to coaching youth hoops don't know what episode number so i'm not even gonna try 2000 no, I'm so so we are doing this this is going up in this will be going up in february i was just telling bill bills bills in uh up in the uh, northern california and i'm looking out my window right now and i see about about 15 inches of snow you do not you didn't say it was that much oh it was unbelievable it was it was the end of the driveway so people that don't live in in where they get snow the plow yeah. comes through and you get like this big icy bunch at the end and it must have been a f two feet high now i have a snowblower this is not a they, they they are not paid advertisers but i bought a battery powered snowblower awesome awesome never go back so i don't have to pull it i don't have to worry about yeah. when it's gonna start i hit a Just, button and it starts awesome that's awesome yeah. i bought a, a electric lawnmower and i love it do you have do you have grass yeah I got a little. I, I got a little lawn. I actually re reduced it this year. We actually built a. We had two sections: an upper and a lower section. And I, I, uh, we did a new patio on the upper section with a fire pit and all of that. And so lower why wouldn't you do grass. fake grass in in uh, in California? Uh, don't you have water? I mean, you don't have water issues this year, but most of the time you have water issues. Why wouldn't you yeah. buy? You know, a lot of people are putting in fake grass. I'm seeing it more and more. But does it look you know, real? We're, we're in a part of we're in Northern California where okay. you know, and it's such a it's a you know it's not huge. Okay. Everything else is yeah, you know, it's not a huge lawn. Like how long would it take you to mow your lawn? Oh, if I'm trimming and mowing, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. It takes me an yeah. hour to mow my lawn. Yeah, no, I know you. Yeah, you got a huge lawn, so yeah, no. We okay. ours is we have a lot more. Um, the the person who owned our house, she was. Um, I mean, she was a professional gardener. Okay, she had a before lot of us, and okay, she's just like amazing. Like uh, you'll see stuff popping up, like that I didn't even know was planted there. Right, you know, it's just it's amazing what she did. So. Yeah, so we have a lot of that kind of landscaping, which does require some right. water. Watering. Um, mm. But, yeah. Anyway. anyway, so the moral of the story is you want to live in a warmer climate, people. <laughs> I'm so, you, so this this is how it's all relating back to basketball. We're on a, we were, he knows where Beloit is. We're on a bus to Beloit. And I don't take yellow buses anymore. I'm too old. I only take coach buses. Um, Fancy. Yeah. I, 15 years, 20 years. I've been taking, I haven't been on a yellow Donna bus coach. in 20 years. <laughs> refuse to get on a yellow bus anyway we're, we're going down and i turn to one of my coaches and i go "Ooh, i could see myself walking the it's like we had an afternoon game so it's like "Ooh, i could see myself on on a beach in florida walking the dogs right now it's like and we just start laughing because it was snow and roads were horrible yeah. and it's the middle of january that's but... basketball season that's what i miss i hate to say that and i i know if i was with you and i'd be like get me the heck out of here but Sitting in my warm seat in California. Oh, and like, and, oh, and, man, and, and this is season. the best part. I, I text my wife last night. This is, again, part of the coaching part. Not all the youth coaches yeah. will appreciate the text. I say, hey, we're going to be home. We won, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, my daughter was gone with her boyfriend. So it's like, oh, we got to have a date night, blah, blah, blah. And then I get back to school. I get the kids situated. They all go off. Um, again, high school coach. And one of my guys texts, calls me. They don't text me. So they call me. If they call me, I know it's bad. That's really important. Then, <laughs> and yeah. he goes, my car won't start. I left my lights on. So, oh, no. so we get the coaching staff over. We're jumping. It's snowing. Like it's a blizzard. Yeah. We're in the middle of it. Um, and I, and he played a group. Brady played a great game that night. And it's like, so he goes, can I, can I go get gas? I go, well, how much gas you have? He goes, well, I have 40. I go, go home. <laughs> Cause the car might not start again. So yeah. go home. And then I'm going to text you to make sure you got home okay. But 
it was like, all right. And then, then the coaches, anybody that's jumped cars, it's like, all right, brown, black, <laughs> red. You got and then you got to do it in reverse order, and it's like we don't want to kill each other. It's like, yeah. but anyway, that's it was hilarious. he was very appreciative. But it's like that. Yep, minus like twelve degrees, blizzard, jump in a car in the parking lot. And I texted my wife that talking to my wife i text my wife i go always teaching and i sent a picture of it you know yeah how did true you know, how did and that's what we do we are always teaching um um all right couple things first of all if you like yeah. these podcasts again bill and i don't see each other that much so some of this conversation is just us talking hope you hope you kind of appreciate that but anyway <laughs> uh oh go uh leave a review and also um go over and check out our facebook group just type in uh, coaching youth hoops um and it will pop right up you'll see the the blue logo there um and there's i think almost 2300 people in there right now and the like yeah, i saw I coach yeah, here the, the um the discussions are really good and i think they'll be good all year round i think if uh if you're coaching now you're probably going to be coaching for a couple of years so i think it's a it's a youthful it's a useful uh thing to kind of join and and, and see all the discussions that's kind of happening yeah, a lot of smart coaches out there helping, so it's good. Okay. Uh, yes, coach, and practice plans. I know we're yeah, getting near the end of the season, yeah, but yeah, well, yeah, for some, right? Uh, yeah. So we got, you know, we got the AAU leagues and, and the summer leagues starting up. So um, head over to basketballpracticeplans.com. Uh, print out a full season of practice plans, offense, defense, everything you need to to uh, uh, level up your team um, this season. So whatever season you're in, if you're maybe you're around the globe and you're just starting, or if you're in the States and you're doing your uh, club teams, you got everything there ready for you. And again, basketball practice plans. Oh, that was good. It's one of his businesses is leveling up. I like that. That was good. That was a good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like it? How you yeah. kind of just put that in. I teach hoops too. I teach hoops too. You know, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in. Um, all right. So what's today's topic? We are going to talk about uh, defining selfish players and how to deal with them as a coach. So what is selfishness? Um, you know, subtle things, obviously the obvious things, and then the little things. And then how do you, how do you teach? And, and how do you teach a player not to be, selfish is a team sport right and it's hard it's hard we live in a selfish society in a lot of respects um a, a me mm -hmm. society um the, again you and i were talking about this but it's like i think part of that discussion is like there has to be if anybody's watched the mini series on hbo band of brothers great 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 world mm, war ii one cool. it's great world war ii it's about world war ii uh, that's an strange. older one right yeah it, it's uh did Tom Hanks do that? Or I think anyway, there's Band of Brothers. And anyway, it's very good. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's really good. It's about World War II. Anyway, um, but it's a it's it's group of uh, the 82nd Airborne or something. And they're kind of their journey through World War II and how they became a band of brothers. Mm -hmm. Um, it's hard to be selfish when you're when you have a connection. It's harder to worry about only you when you have a connection. Um it's part of the reason that I went on a 36 hour bus trip with my team to, to the Florida and back because I was building the band of brothers and I can see yeah. it in my team right now. Um, anybody that doesn't know, we kind of had a flight. It got canceled. We ended up jumping on a bus, driving all the way to Southern Florida, coming back anyway. Um, and it's helped my team because there's, it's harder to be selfish around people you love and people you're connected with. So that's the first thing is if you can build a connection and hopefully they play together and they start learning their roles. Um, that's the first thing I think is, is super important as far as it. And then part of it is, is when people are, is like putting that mirror in front of them and self-reflecting. And it's harder for a second grader than for an eighth grader uh, right. to have some of that self-reflection, but the corrections can be easier in the elementary era. Um, so right. I think then it can be the older ones because well, like, let's well what let's before you dive into like let's what what is what are the markers or what what is it what is it to be selfish like what are the you as a coach looking at a player 
let's talk about obvious and maybe not so obvious things, right? Selfish is why did you take me out of the game? Why am I not playing? Right. Me, me, me. Stuff. Why am I not getting more shots? Why am I yeah. not playing that many minutes? Why am I not? It's like me. It's me. It's me yeah. versus we. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, and ball hog, right? That would be yes. another one. Somebody yes. Which can happen very easily at the younger ages. That's right. When they're farther along developmentally. Yes. They're better dribblers. They're, they're, they've, they've grown into their bodies faster. There's all of those things that can happen which make it mm -hmm. harder sometimes because the standard deviation is much bigger from the best player to the next best player. Um, and from a coach, from managing that too, it's like, Oh, this is the only player I really have that could score. So why am I going to pass the, why am right. I going to encourage him to pass the ball to someone? Right. And, and I've had that before. And it's like, well, okay, we're, you're going to score one and then you're going to try to get someone else to score the next one. And then you're yeah. going to score the next one after that. Like, it's like, I've, I've almost done like a tag team kind of thing, you know, like, all right. That's smart. Gonna, yeah. um, so you got to kind of feed on like, I'm making, want to make you a better player and blah, 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 blah. And here's how you can do it. And passing is part of the game. And how can we do that? And the problem is I, I've seen it at the youth level. Like you can't pass it to John because he'll he's going to, you know, or Darius is going to drop it every time I pass it to him. Right. Like, so how do you deal with that? Well, you know, when you have one practice a week and blah, 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 you know, those, it, it, it is a difficult rope that you're tight rope that you're walking. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, uh, and if you listen to our podcast before on etiquette, some of these kind of more the selfish things too are, you know, flexing after you're making a shot or, you know, you made a three point shot showing the three fingers, doing that kind of stuff, like getting in somebody's, you know, Base, um, you know, you're only thinking about yourself and how you look versus right. And I think at the youth level, we need to teach kids teamwork and working together, and not put the emphasis. And I know it's so hard. Trust me, not putting the emphasis on the win because that player who's not good now might be a teammate in on your high school team, and you need him as much as he needs you. Because you know, it's also a developmental thing. I've seen this too right. in second grade. They just they just haven't caught up, but eventually they're gonna like, you know, yeah. you don't know, but you really don't know. Yeah, uh, no, you don't. Till late middle school, developmentally, where they're gonna fall, you really don't. Yeah. So as a coach, if I'm a, uh, we, well, I think we covered kind of the ball hog thing, where it's like you know, switching off, maybe alternating um, plays that you could do. What about the what about the kid though? It, you know that sits on the bench. You just pulled him out of the game. Sits there with his arms crossed, pouting. What what's the message? Because that is a selfish act, right? They're thinking it is about a hundred percent selfish act. Yeah. But they don't know how to act. So Correct. part of that is That's our it. leadership to teach That's them right. how to act. Mm -hmm. So I can just tell you from how like usually it's the arm around. Like mm -hmm. I'll 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 stop. Hopefully I have an assistant at that point. But if I don't, if it's just me at the youth level, it's often it's just me. I take the time from the game to go sit next to that kid, put my arm around him and say, I know you're frustrated. Here's what you blah, blah, blah. So I, even, it doesn't matter the grade level at that point. I'm having a discussion. And yeah. I said, we'll, we'll talk about this more later. Okay. Can we, can we, can we talk about this? It seems like you're really frustrated. Like I, I want to have a discussion because they'll most of the time they'll say, yeah. And they'll tell me why. And then we can have a, short discussion because i'm trying to coach the game at that point but I have a longer one later so i mm -hmm. usually go right to that at that point um, yeah no that's smart yeah. to do handle it that way uh what other selfish acts do you see happen from the parents in the stands no <laughs> <laughs> um uh, no, dare I mean, we go there acts are, and the hard oh. part is is like I would say a selfish act is not coming to practice, but often at the youth level, it's not the kids. Choice. It's it's not the kids fault. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have one for you that happened in one of our games. We were winning. This is uh, yeah, we were winning and uh, by a decent amount, right. We we're going to clearly win the game. And it was at the, well, we were going to win the game. Cause it was, I think it was less than, let's call it less than 15 seconds. We got the ball back dribbling it up and, uh, my uh, coach is yelling, you know, don't shoot the ball. 
right? What do you think she did? Shot, shot the, ball. the ball. Right. When we were clear, I mean, we're up by 10 or 20 and she's, you know, shooting it from the top of the key three quarters and she comes off the court and says, well, I wanted to get my point. That's selfish act, right? It's nothing, you know, we didn't want to shoot the ball because if she made it, it's just a bad look. It's just not right. We were going to, well, I can tell you in our varsity game last night, the game was over with about a minute to go. We're up 18. Literally like the other coach said, don't foul. We weren't going to shoot at that point. Literally like, (laughs) And one of my guys was standing there and just dribbling and then he walked over and he just kind of stopped. And, um, because we, we were going to like, yeah, that was, we weren't going to be selfish at that the game's over. Um, yeah. you know, and the, we just had to let the clock run out cause you have to let the game end. Um, Oh, that's right. You don't have a shot clock. So. We don't have a shot clock, but the it's funny like part, too. yeah. The, the funny part is like the guy that had the ball goes, I don't want to turn the ball over cause coach will give me a turnover and I'll be in trouble or something to that effect. So he didn't want to like turn it over and give it back to them, which is, okay. you, you don't have to give them the opportunity to score, but he just didn't want, we, we knew we shouldn't shoot at that point. So we were dribbling yeah, yeah, around yeah. and doing that. Um, and that's rare with like a minute to go. The game is like an 18 point game. It's over at that point. Just let's be done. Um, right. But anyway, uh, yeah. So I think that's, I think there's lots of different things that go, go into verbal and nonverbal selfishness, I think. Body language, right, is a, yeah. is a big thing. Um, how about uh, I just missed a shot, and I, you know, I'm, you know, looking down uh, on the way transitioning in defense, right? That's a selfish act, right? You know, which we have to teach, and that happens a lot. Kids get disappointed in themselves because they just missed a shot. I get that, but it's a teaching moment to say, okay, short term memory, get back and play defense now and get a stop, right? Make up for that shot that you feel like you just missed, and and. What I always say is like best shooter in the world, right? Steph Curry makes what is his shooting percentage? Forty three years at thirty four. Get the numbers mixed up from the three point line and doesn't make all his layups either, right? right? So right. and he shoots slightly more than you do. And an right? unselfish act is not letting one play affect another play. That's, That's right. an unselfish act. Yeah, little so. te- these little teaching moments are important, especially at the especially at the youth level. Right. Um, Because they'll carry through. Um, The life lessons. We get them, right? The life lessons. That's right. Yes. Absolutely. Teach them before we get them. That'd be great. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) All right. Till next week. Hey, if you got, oh, yeah, I was just going to say if you you have some selfish moments, write them in the comments, right? Yes. Um, And, and, you know, this is where it kind of gets exciting because we'll, you know, we'll look at those and, 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 you know, we'll bring those over to the Facebook group and, and talk about those. So, yep. or um, join the Facebook know, love group. To hear, or join the Facebook group. Get a yeah, coaching youth hoops Facebook group. Yep. Or or leave a leave a review. Make our day. I got. I, I'll tell you before we leave. I got an um, yeah. email uh, from a teachhoops.com member, and it made mm-hmm. my day. Like it was just like, thank you for helping me through all this process. Blah blah blah. It's like you don't understand. Like we're high school basketball coaches. When we get those things, that yeah, what a it's smile. A we yeah. <laughs> We had grade school night last night at our game, okay? And this this girl that I we've known her families for a little while, and uh, her brother and, and my son went to school together, and uh, she comes up to me. I mean, she's like sixth, fifth, fifth or sixth grade. She comes up to me and gives me a high five and says, hey, coach. And when you talk about making your day, this is right after we lost by 10, too. She goes, you did a really good job coaching. And I'm like, no. <laughs> thanks uh, thank you let like, me introduce you to my athletic director <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly all right till next week guys uh, Bye. till next week hey coach so glad you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe and like second all go check teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better let me help you put banners and stuff in your gym and become a nationally ranked coach win more games in less time teachhoops.com is a community that will allow you to do that go over and check it out And go check the next video out. Bye.